Buongiorno a tutti, good afternoon everyone, and thank you for attending this, uh, this conference. I represent a company called JC Deco. JC Deco is a company that is leading the out of home advertising in the world, created 55 years ago by my father, where he got the idea of putting an advertising space in a bus shelter and offering the bus shelter at no cost to the municipalities, to citizens, in exchange of the advertising rights, taking care of the functionality, the quality, and therefore of the service for the life spent of the bus shelter. Nowadays, we, are, uh, we operate in uh, 84 countries, and we have developed a full range of products um, coming from going from city information panel to automatic public toilets, as well as uh, waste collection or a free public bike scheme. So what is special about an outdoor advertising company talking about ag tech? If I take, for example, what we have done in the last 15 years in public bike scheme, we started from nothing. System of public bike scheme already existed in the past, previously. But what we brought is a business model, is a capacity to drive investment from private sectors, corporate, big advertisers, to spend advertising that this spend will be dedicated to a service. We brought, therefore, capacity, we brought intelligence, we brought technology, we brought capacity as well to take care of the service. And we became, in less than 10 years, the largest operator of public buy scheme around the world. And the quality was there because the cost was not the central, the central point. The central point was about the quality of the product because the cost was paid by the advertisers and not by the taxpayer, nor by the city. When you look at, uh, at the end of the day, what we try to achieve and what we could achieve in ag tech is about connecting dots. It's about connecting dots between the public power, the public authority, who has the vision, who administrates the land, between the citizen that wants, deserves a better environment, better infrastructure, and the, the corporate world that wants to promote their products, create notoriety for their brands, and then therefore invest in the public space, in the urban space. And we are a company aggregating all those stakeholders into one common objective, whether it's bus shelter, waste collection, mobility throughout the, the public buy scheme. And by creating those dots, we have created somehow a virtuous circle uh, across, across the year and now in more than 4,000 um, cities around the world. And we work for the smart cities. But let me ask you, if you uh, uh, allow me, to raise your arms of how many of you uh, live as a farmer today, as a profession, as a job? Thank you. OK. And how many of you not living as a farmer, we've got one in the room, uh, would think of leaving the city to go and live in the countryside, in the campaign, to eventually become a farmer? So, promising, maybe not enough, but the point is the population will grow to 10, mil 10 billion within the next 30 years. We heard this. Uh, we've got a model where urbanization is ramping up. More than half of the population today live in the city. Within 30 years' time, it will be two-thirds of the population living in the city. But we've got many, many few people living today in the cities that would like to go and live in the countryside and in a campaign. So is a city smart when the city is not connected with who feed the city and who feed the ramping urbanization of the growing population? Taking in mind and taking in consideration, obviously, the global warming and the fact that, obviously, we need to rethink about the uh, method of agriculture nowadays. So what we uh, think is that as the city will grow, they will have to do or to reach two objectives. 
and that's a true conviction and a true believing that we will try to implement uh, as a company and as a USP. First, as the cities will eat always more land coming from the agricultural land, we will need to embed into the growth of the city spaces in order to farm in as the cities will grow. Point one. And point two, we need in the city to create more vocations. We need in the city to create more people uh, wanting to leave the city and go and live uh, in the countryside and eventually feed the rest uh, of the planet. How? We've got technology. Technology means that today, if you have a house, a flat, and you can put your flat in Airbnb and your flat becomes available to anyone in the world. That's thanks to technology. So thanks to technology, today you can rent your house to anyone in the world, potentially, point one. So it, it means that technology makes it possible and reachable for any one of us. It means as well involving the brands, involving our clients in investing differently, investing better towards the challenges that the cities will have to face and tackle. Emmanuel Faber, the CEO of Danone, recently said that agriculture is as well a mean to create social link within a community. So agriculture is not only about feeding the planet, it's as well about creating and enhancing the social, um, the social link between, between people. We need, as a company, to be enabler, to be doer, to, to link the dots between citizens that, thanks to technology and thanks to the public authority vision and the politician vision, hopefully, will want to get more involved as the city will offer new opportunities. And we need to go and get investments from the corporates to promote their brands, to promote their products, and to scale it up for every one of you. And this is, again, what we have done in the past in, in, in other verticals of, uh, of our industry. Finally, um, we uh, have to work on the food waste and the food waste collection. Um, agriculture and the efficiency of agriculture is about wasting less to start with. So to produce more, but as well to waste uh, less. And point two, we are in the communication space. We are in the media space, in the public ground, meaning that we are the media of the cities. But today, a city with a vision, like here in Milan, that basically are pushing the boundaries of urban farming with today almost 800, 800 hectares of urban farming within the city of Milan. The city of Milan do not communicate in its own territory on the infrastructure, advertising and promoting brands and messages about what they do, about their vision, and about what they will enable people to do. That's something we can offer, and that's something that hopefully we will be able to propose and offer. And point two, is it normal if today a city has a vision about what is good for its citizens and what is not good for its citizens, that they come to us to buy advertising space and they pay the same price? We are on public land. We don't own the land. The land belongs to citizens and to an authority. The authority, we think, should always more uh, um, incentivize advertisers and brands and help brands that are positive for the uh, environment to better promote and to have some kinds of uh, facilitations compared to um, others. Finally, I would end up by saying that ag tech is great. Ag tech is about trillions, millions, billions, billions of dollars of investment today growing but AgTech will have to give a sense to the investment that will go into AgTech. What is the sense that AgTech will have as a final goal? And by integrating and embedding, embedding natural space, agricultural space within the city, we think that we will connect or reconnect people with nature. And I will finish just by a thought. 
Think about a Chinese baby that uh, was born a min one minute ago in the city of Guangzhou. 12 million, 12 million habitants in Guangzhou. It may be that this baby, Chinese baby, it will be the same in Lagos with 20 million inhabitants. We never know what is a field. We'll never know what is crop. We'll never be aware of what is nature. Nature for, for him will be Parco Sampione here in Milan. This is why we think that uh, farming space are crucial to be embedded in the urban space and we will do everything that we can for EGP Deco and JC Deco to be part of this design. Thank you very much.